In order to use a carpenter's triangle to draw a box, you have to first find the right angle. It's the angle that lines up with the corner of the paper. No other angle on the triangle is of any use for this project. You must use the right angle. Okay? You start out by lining the right angle up with the top of the paper and drawing a vertical line. Once you've drawn that vertical line, you're going to line your right angle up with the vertical line and you draw a horizontal line. It will be perfectly perpendicular to it because you're using the right angle. Continue to use the right angle to complete all sides of your box. The last side is a little bit tricky. Notice the right-hand side is longer than the left-hand side. You may be tempted to try and connect them, which would give you a crooked line. Don't do that. It must be a right angle, even if you've got to erase a little bit of extra on one side. Next, you're going to draw the lines going to the vanishing point. For that, you're probably going to need to use the hypotenuse, which is the longest side of your right triangle. So you're going to draw those lines to the three corners that are closest to the vanishing point. Now the next part's a little tricky. How do you get the back part of your rectangle? You need to make sure that the sides are exactly parallel to the front. You start out by lining the triangle up with the top of the paper, and that gives you a perfectly vertical line, as long as you put the right angle at the top of the paper. Now put the right angle right against the line you already drew, and that will give you a perfectly horizontal line, which will be perpendicular to the line you just drew. And that is how you use a carpenter's triangle to draw in one-point perspective.